Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of Object Oriented Programming in case of Kotlin. Now, in this video, we will learn about what is inheritance is all about. But before that, let us first understand the properties of the class in case of Kotlin. Now, by default, all the classes in Kotlin are public in nature and also they are final in nature. That is, by default, you cannot inherit from a particular class to the derived class or the subclass. So for that, the Kotlin provides a special keyword of open keyword. To inherit all the properties of a particular class, you have to use the keyword of open. And now, for those who are beginners who don't know what is inheritance, please continue with this video. And for those who know what is inheritance quite well, you may skip this video and continue watching the next video, which is the demo video. So let us now proceed and check out what is actually inheritance in case of Kotlin. So suppose I have here class of dog and here I have class of cat. Now in case of class dog, I have some properties such as color, breed and some methods such as bark and eat. Now similarly here in case of class cat, I have the properties of color and age and also some methods of mew and eat. If you compare both class dog and class cat, you will find there are some common properties such as here I have color, here I have color too, here I have function eat and here I have function eat. So there is obviously some code repetition in both the classes. So can we optimize both these classes? Yes, we can. With the help of inheritance, we can simply create a class of animal from which the class cat and class dog will inherit all the properties. So inside the class animal, what I will have is, I will declare the property of color and also a method of eat. Now, this color and this eat method is actually present inside the dog class and also inside the cat class. So with the help of inheritance, we can simply inherit all the properties of animal class into dog class and also class cat. So in case of class dog, I will simply modify my code and inherit all the properties from the animal class like this class dog colon animal. Now this is the syntax to inherit all the properties from the class of animal in case of Kotlin colon followed by animal and this is the default primary constructor that is called, right? And in case of cat as well, we can again use the concept of inheritance colon space animal, right? And if you notice in case of cat and dog, we have simply removed the properties of color and eat function and now we are only left with the age and mu and here breed and bark. Just because these two properties are actually present in case of animal that these two classes are getting indirectly. So this concept in case of Kotlin is known as inheritance, right? And now proceeding forward, the class dog and class cat is actually known as the subclass, the child class or the derived class. Similarly, this animal class and this animal class is actually known as the super class, base class or parent class, right? Like this. And above all, we have this animal class, which is actually known as the super class, base class or the parent class, right? Now, this animal class by default inherit from a class of any. Now, this any is actually the name of the class that contains few functions. So in Kotlin, always remember every class you define inside your project has a super class of any. And this any contains few functions that I will talk about it shortly. And now proceeding forward, let us now check out the type of inheritance supported in case of Kotlin. So the type of inheritance is same as that of Java. We have the single inheritance, multi-level inheritance and also hierarchical inheritance. So in case of single inheritance, suppose I have class B that simply inherits from class A. And in case of multi-level inheritance, I have multi-level inheritance such as class C inherits from class B inherits from class A like this. Now in case of hierarchical inheritance, I have some structure that appears to be like this class B and class C inherits from class A 
and this is the same example that we saw in the previous slide of dog, cat and animal. And now at the top in each of the case we have class A, class A and class A. So all these class A actually inherit from the any class at the end. Right? So always remember in case of Kotlin we have a super class of any at the top. And now this class B, class C and here this class B and class C are actually known as the derived class. And this class A which is present here is actually known as the super class. Always remember this. And now in case of multi-level inheritance, we have this class B present in between the class A and class C. So for this class C, this B is actually acting as a super class. But for this class A, this B is actually acting as a derived class or the child class. Always remember this again. Now, what about class C? Here we have class B and class A as a super class for this class C. So indirectly we are getting all the properties of class B and class A inside class C. Because we are having here multi-level inheritance. So the class present at the bottom will get all the properties of the classes present above it such as class B and class A as well and along with it class any by default. Now what this class any stands for? Now this class any simply contains some default functions such as equals method, hash code method, to string method. Now these methods simply return some value which is boolean in nature, integer and string respectively. And what are the usage of these methods? We will talk about it shortly in our demo video. But before that, let us now define our inheritance in case of Kotlin. So in case of Kotlin, we can define inheritance as it is a mechanism in which one object class acquires all the properties from its parent class, right? Now what is the purpose of inheritance? So the inheritance simply increases the code reusability which we saw in this video and it also promotes the method overriding functionality. Now till now we have not seen what is method overriding in case of Kotlin. So we will check it out shortly.